Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Consider the following states: Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh. We have to select the correct order of the above states with respect to total coal reserves. This was our practice question. A is the correct answer. India's coal imports from Russia in March could be the highest in more than 2 years. Russia usually India's sixth largest supplier of coal that is coking and thermal coal could start offering more competitive prices to the chinese and the top 5 states in terms of total coal reserves in india are jharkhand odisha chatisgarh west bengal and madhya pradesh consider the following statements regarding national crime records bureau ncrb was set up in 1986 under the ministry of home affairs it was set up based on the recommendations of national police commission and mhs task force it brings out the annual comprehensive statistics of crime across the country we have to select the correct statement all are correct t is the correct answer Recently the Union Minister of Home Affairs and Minister of Cooperation attended the 37th Foundation Day celebrations of National Crime Records Bureau as the chief guest. NCRB was set up in 1986 under the Ministry of Home Affairs and it was set up to function as a repository of information on crime and criminals so as to assist the investigators in linking crime to the perpetrators. It was set up based on the recommendation of the National Police Commission and MHA's task force. it brings out the annual comprehensive statistics of crime across the country having been published since 1953 the report serves as a crucial tool in understanding the law and order situation across the country consider the following statements regarding minimum support price msp is a public procurement program to meet the requirements of the national food security act 2013 the commission for agricultural costs and prices takes a final decision the final decision on deciding msp we have to select the correct statement only first is correct a is the correct answer the haryana government has been increasingly adopting digital governance means in its bid to improve farming the government announced msp for 14 crops which is the minimum price for any crop that the government considers as remunerative for farmers and hence deserving of support it is a public procurement program to meet the requirements of the National Food Security Act of 2013 and the CACP recommends the MSP for 22 mandated crops the cabinet committee on economic affairs of the union government takes a final decision on the level of MSPs and other recommendations made by CACP consider the following statements regarding swamitva yojana or scheme it aims to provide an integrated property validation solution for urban india it is a pan india arrangement for mapping the land parcels using drone technology so we have to select the correct statement only the second is correct p is the correct answer the union panchayati raj minister launched sms sending functionality to inform mps and mlas about the commencement of drone flying in their constituency under swamitva scheme it stands for survey of villages and mapping with improvised technology in village areas the scheme is a collaborative effort of the ministry of panchayati raj state panchayati raj departments state revenue departments and survey of india the aim is to provide an integrated property validation solutions for rural india and it is a pan india scheme for mapping the land parcels in rural inhabited areas across drone technology using drone technologies and continuously operating reference station that is cos Consider the following statements regarding coronal mass ejections. These are the most powerful explosions happening in the solar system. It can have a damaging effect on the satellites and radio communication networks on Earth. They can cause auroras on Earth. We have to select the correct statement. All are correct. D is the correct answer. Indian researchers have developed a simple technique of separating the constant background of the solar corona and revealing the dynamic corona. this can help detect coronal mass ejections better the sun is an extremely active object spewing out vast quantities of gas and plasma in many violent events a class of such eruptions are known as coronal mass ejections these are the most powerful explosions happening in the solar system when a really strong cme blows past the earth it can damage the electronics in satellites and disrupt radio communication networks on the earth they can trigger intense light in the sky on earth called auroras consider the following statements regarding lunar eclipse penumbra is the part of the earth's shadow where direct light from the sun is totally blocked out by the earth umbra is the portion where not all the light from the sun is blocked out we have to select the correct statement 
D is the correct answer. We have to select the correct statement. D is the correct answer. Lunar eclipse takes place when the moon moves into the Earth's shadow. The Earth has to be directly between the sun and the moon and a lunar eclipse can only take place during a full moon. First, the moon moves into the penumbra, the part of the Earth's shadow where not all the light from the sun is blocked out. Part of the moon's disk will look dimmer and a regular full moon. And then the moon moves into the Earth's umbra where direct light from the sun is totally blocked out by the Earth. This means that the only light reflecting off the moon's disk has already been refracted, refracted or bent by the Earth's atmosphere. Consider the following statements with respect to the crime and criminal tracking networking system. It was established in 2014. It works under the aegis of Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. We have to select the correct statement. D is the correct answer. The Union Home Minister said that data of the CBI, NIA and NCB should be integrated with the CCTNS, which is a project under the Ministry of Home Affairs, and it creates a comprehensive and integrated system for effective policing through e-governance, including a nationwide online tracking system by integrating more than 14,000 police stations across the country. The project is implemented by the National Crime Records Bureau and the concept of CCTNS was first conceived in the year 2008 by the then Home Minister in the aftermath of 2008 Mumbai attacks. This was then approved by the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs in 2009 and a pilot phase of the project was launched on 4th January 2013 by the then Home Minister. Which among the following directive principles of state policy directs the state to take up steps to organize village panchayats and endow them with powers and authority for self-government? The correct answer is option A, Article 40. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called for fulfilling Mahatma Gandhi's dream of rural development and self-reliant villages. Article 40 states that the state shall take steps to organize village panchayats and endow them with such powers and authority as may be necessary to enable them to function as units of self-government. Article 41 talks about education and public assistance in case of unemployment, old age, sickness and disablement and in other cases. Article 42 talks about humane conditions for work and maternity relief. Article 43 says that the state shall endeavor to secure by law or economic organization or in any other way to all workers, agricultural, industrial or otherwise work a living wage, conditions of working, ensuring a decent work and quality of life, cooperative basis in rural areas. Consider the following statements with respect to North Atlantic Council. It is the principal political decision-making body of the NATO. Each member country of NATO has a seat at the NEC. C is the correct answer. Joe Biden has stated that the US would not fight in Ukraine and that a direct confrontation between NATO and Russia would result in World War III. The North Atlantic Council is the principal political decision-making body of the NATO and each member country has a seat at the NEC. It meets at least once a week or whenever the need arises at different levels. It is chaired by the Secretary General who helps members reach agreement on key issues. Consider the following statements with respect to IMF International Monetary Fund. The report Built Forward Better is published by it. It currently has a membership of 195 countries. We have to select the not correct statement. Second is not correct, B is the correct answer. The Union Finance Minister held a conversation in a virtual mode with the Managing Director of the IMF, Kristalina Georgieva. It was established in 1944 in the aftermath of the Great Depression of 1930s. 44 founding member countries sought to build a framework for international economic cooperation and today its membership embraces 190 countries with staff drawn from 150 nations. At the top of the organizational structure at the Board of Governors, Day-to-day -day work of IMF is seen by the Executive Board and Built Forward Better is an annual report by the IMF. Consider the following countries, Ecuador, Peru, Chile, Brazil. We have to select the countries which have a border with Colombia. Ecuador, Peru and Brazil have a border with Colombia. So C is the correct answer. President Joe Biden announced that he intends to designate Colombia as a major non-NATO ally. Colombia is a transcontinental country spanning South America and an insular region in North America. It is bordered by the Caribbean Sea, Venezuela, Brazil, Ecuador and Peru, the Pacific Ocean and the Panama. Let's move on to the practice question for the next segment. Consider the following statements regarding pathogens. 
Zoonotic pathogen refers to pathogens transmitted naturally between animals and humans. Leprosy and cholera are transmitted by pathogenic bacteria. We have to select the correct statement. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching.